So you're coming off a tough midweek game against Troy. What you guys learn from that game? Yeah, I thought it was uh, it was kind of the first time. You know, we played four weeks or four games on the road. So Tuesday, tough one against UAB on the road. Then a really good weekend in Frisco, but took a lot out of us, I thought. You know, obviously Friday we kind of got after Indiana pretty good, but Saturday, Sunday were both tight, one of which was an extra inning game. I honestly thought we were a little bit lethargic coming out yesterday. You know, I thought the first few innings we, we weren't really us from an energy standpoint. But I credit the guys. They recognized it. They addressed it. And I think about the fourth inning on, they were really, really good. And they competed hard. I didn't think we were outstanding by any means. But some of that has to do with the guys that were sitting in this dugout over here. I mean, Troy's a good team. Skyler does a great job with those guys. And they're tough. They're competitive. Uh, they ran some different arms out at us. So um, I think it was just kind of a good lesson. Obviously, when you win and learn a lesson, it's good that Man, you got to show up with energy regardless of kind of how long the weekend was. We got to find it and we got to address it. And I would just like to see us come out and be a little sharper. But we found a way to get it done yesterday, and that matters. Um, and then a veteran Lipscomb team is coming to town this weekend. What kind of challenge do they present? Yeah, just old. You know, they're just an older group. And I think any time in college baseball, I think that's the beauty of college baseball. And hopefully we're getting out of the COVID years and all that. But you've got guys that are playing their sixth year in college baseball at times. And just guys with a thousand college at bats. And there's just something to be said for that experience, you know. So they played uh, they played Kentucky pretty tough. I think it was last weekend. And, and so it's, it's going to be a good test for us, especially because there's going to be some distractions with, with maybe some potential weather rolling in tomorrow. And, you know, who knows whether we have to bump the game up, whether we have to play two Saturday, whatever that looks like. It's just another opportunity for us to ring the bell. And this group has been really good at showing up with whatever has been thrown at them. And it's going to be a good opportunity against a really veteran ball club. You guys have, um, uh, sorry, what does the team have to do to come away with a series weekend, or series win this weekend? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I've said this all along. I think there's really three things. Number one, throw a ton of strikes. Number two, make the routine plays. And number three, timely hitting. Like, that's baseball no matter who you play, you know. And I think when we played Valpo week two, we did all three of those at a really high level. When you look at last weekend, we did quite a few of those. We played really good defense. I thought we threw the ball pretty well. We just weren't as – excellent with our timely hitting as we have been thought yesterday was a little bit of a mixed bag I thought our defense was okay I thought all our arms we ran out there did some really good things but couldn't quite finish I thought we still left some runs on the board offensively when we didn't cash in um, so that's really the key if we can do those three things and keep it that simple and play with energy we give ourselves a chance against anybody you guys have been playing really well at home, so what's working at the Joe? Yeah, I mean, I think number one is just your comfort zone. You know, you've played here a lot. You know the hops. You know the field. You know the way it plays. And you're comfortable. You get your fans. You're, you're sleeping in your own bed. And so there's obviously advantages to that. That's why hosting in the postseason is so big, you know, because everybody else is in a hotel trying to figure it out, and you're sleeping in your own bed and in your normal routine. So, you know, I think that's kind of part of it is it's just kind of our comfort zone. But, you know, I'll tell you, man, through three and one last week with four games on the road against four quality teams is, is a pretty good place to be on the road, too. And um, this is last week before spring break. So what do you want to share with the fans before they leave for spring break? Yeah, I mean, they've been awesome this year. The, the right field student section has been unbelievable. I mean, just for midweek games, for weekend games, they've showed up. They've been engaged. Um, they've been outstanding, you know, and obviously I know a lot of them are going to be traveling, doing some different things for spring break, but man, it'd be sure be good to get them back for, for that Tennessee weekend, that, the back half of spring break, because the Vols are good. Tony Vitale is going to roll in with a, with a squad that, that plays with some attitude, that's super talented, and, and man, I'd love for them to kind of come back and, and make this that home field advantage that they've created the first, whatever it is, 10 to 12 games we've played this year. They've been unbelievable, and we love everything they're doing.